680's Richard Southern joins us. Richard, the tax deadline is April the 30th, and those rushing to file need to be aware of the changes from the CRA. Especially if you're doing them yourself. Do you do your own taxes, Francis? Yes, of course you do, right? Uh, well, I used to, and yeah. uh, this year we're a little more complicated, oh. so it's going off to the accountant. Must be nice, Francis, let me tell I you. I wish. <laughs> I wish it was in a good way. But. Uh, right. Uh, but, you know, there is some things you do need to keep an eye on this year because the CRA has made some changes. First off, uh, children's fitness and arts programs, as of January 1st, 2017, parents can no longer claim the My wife reminded fees. me of that last night. Yeah, it's yeah. too bad because that was a big one for mm -hmm. parents. Public transit, you got your Metro Pass, Francis, can no longer claim it, but it's a as of July 1st of last year, so you can still claim the Metro Pass or your Go Transit Pass from January to July. Textbooks uh, no longer can be claimed as well. Caregivers, bit of a change to this one. Uh, you can no longer have the, the caregiver's tax credit unless the parent or grandparent that you're living with that you're taking care of is infirm. That's the, the change to that one. And fertility-related expenses, for the first time ever, uh, you'll be able to claim uh, some of the costs associated with medical intervention to conceive, Francis. Mm. The deadline on uh, April 30th, by the way. Okay. Well, trouble for Timmy. So Canada's ubiquitous coffee chain has plummeted in a new brand reputation survey. Yeah. Uh, this, so this is the, the list of the, the companies that Canadians admire most. So first it's Google, followed by Shoppers Drug Mart, Canadian Tire, Sony. Samsung, Microsoft was number six. Dollarama holds the seventh spot. Kellogg's number eight. Campbell's ninth. Kraft tenth. You gotta go down to 50 though to find Tim Hortons. Wow. It dropped from fourth spot last year, and we know that Tim Hortons has faced an onslaught of negative publicity as of late. Mm -hmm. Some Ontario franchises clawed back employee benefits when the minimum wage went up. About 70% of the store owners are suing the head office. They're not happy with how they've treated the brand. And then two weeks ago, we broke the story here on City. The head office, they want a big $700 million renovation of the stores, and they're asking the disgruntled store owners to pay for half of it. So yeah. people aren't happy with Timmy's right now when it shows in that survey, Francis. But I still see a lot of people drinking it. So You do. You see the mm -hmm. lineups. The stock, I should mention, it's gone cold on Bay mm. Street, down 6.5% this year. Okay. Well, uh, we will soon be able to skip our trip to Vegas, even Niagara Falls, Richard, so forget about that. But maybe we can go to the new casino plan close to Toronto. Let's go hit the tables, Francis. This is what they want to build in Pickering. It's called Durham Live, and they want to build this near uh, the 401 in Pickering, uh, Pickering near the Ajax border. 1.1 million square foot area would include dining, uh, hotels, luxury retail, a film studio, an amphitheater, an indoor water park, and yes, a 330,000 square foot casino. It would be directly connected to the GO train. They're promising to create 100,000 jobs. Pickering says they'll share 30% of the revenue with the region of Durham. Whether or not it gets built or not is another question, mm -hmm. though. Remember, they were planning big things out at Woodbine. We yeah. haven't seen that yet, but that's what the idea is out in uh, Pickering. Well, we'll have to see. So a uh, big work of art is going up for auction, and it may look like child's play, but the price is anything but. <laughs> it's a giant lump of Play-Doh. Look at that, Francis. <laughs> what would you pay for that? Oh, I don't know. How, uh, I would pay someone to take it away, I think, <laughs> is what i do. How about $20 million? That's what it's really? going to be auctioned off for Christie's. Million. Yes, uh, lovers of modern art will recognize the artist uh, Jeff Koons. For decades, he's created some uh, legendary modern art pieces. As for why he created the Play-Doh sculpture? Mm -hmm. The inspiration uh, really came from uh, one of my children, uh, from my son uh, Ludwig. And uh, I brought him some uh, Play-Doh, and he made a mound of Play-Doh, and he said, uh, Dad, and I turned to what? He went, voila, in front of this mound of Play-Doh. And he was so proud. And I looked at it, and I thought, you know, this is really what I try to do every day as an artist, to make objects that you can't make any judgments about. He sold me. I'll take it. He yeah, sold but, me. But, you know, every parent knows that if their kid did that and left the Play-Doh in the middle of the floor like that, they'd be in trouble. They sure would. And, by the way, that <laughs> created a logistical problem for Christie's Auction House. They uh -huh. had to take the doors off the building to get the big Play-Doh in. They right. can't just squeeze it through couldn't. and then, you know, mold it back out it later? No, couldn't no. do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Richard. We'll see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Here's Stella.